Well, let's start by talking about one of my favorites. Fame. One of my favorite artists. His name is Kandinsky. Uh, we're going to watch a silly cartoon. Yes, it is a silly cartoon, uh, but it has some great information about the artist Kandinsky, and that should inspire us for our uh, creative art making process today. Uh, so let's take a look at this video, and then we'll talk about some of his artwork afterwards. Here we go. Marty! Marty! It's no time to practice your saxophone! You said it was art time! Well, I was looking at art in that book, but there was a funny picture that made me think about music. Whoa, 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 really? Of music? Da da, interesting! It looks like a person, but it doesn't remind me of music very much. Oops, sorry. That's okay. How did you do that, Dada? Oh, uh, well, I, um, I didn't know I was this good at doing whatever it is I'm doing. Do you think we can make them different colors? Look at that one, Dada. Dada, cool. You were just in the book. I'm the musical man. You're making the music turn into colors. How do you do it? I don't know, but Vasily can tell us. We can even go listen to his paintings. Listen to his painting? Listen? The artist. The artist in the book? It's the doll. Wow. The doll. Can you take us there to see the artist? <laughs> so, we must be at Mr. Kandinsky's studio. Yes, you are. I see my little music friend brought you. I am Vasily Kandinsky. I'm Maddie. I'm Dada. I brought them to meet you. Welcome, Matty, and welcome, Dada. I hope the musical man hasn't been too mischievous. But he is very musical, you know. Show them, musical man. Da da wow zow! Bravo, musical man! Now, what can I do for my two visitors? The musical man said you might know why my music turned into red blobs. Oh, yes, musical man, let's listen to a painting. There's nothing on the canvas. Paintings are musical too. Ready, musical man? Let's listen to the painting. Nice colors. And there's a horse with a blue rider on it. And, and maybe another horse also with a rider on it. And there's two people on a bench. Maybe it's a horse race, and they're watching it. Or maybe it's two people riding horses through a park. Each musical instrument made me think of a different color. <laughs> <laughs> musical men will help us, and I will demonstrate. Do you play music, Matty? Would you like to help? Yes, please! No! Look, Dada! The trumpet makes yellow sounds! They're all different! That's exactly right! The accordion makes blue sounds! <laughs> 
the violin makes green sounds. Wow! And we know the saxophone makes red sounds. And this horn makes purple. So the feeling that makes a painting is a lot like the feeling that makes music? And just like a painting is made up of different colors, a symphony or a song is made up of different musical instruments and notes. So it can be music that is full of colors, or a painting with all its colors and shapes that is full of music. That is what I tried to do with some of my paintings. Show them, musical men. Goodbye, Matty. Goodbye, Dada. Come visit us again soon. <laughs> Stay out of mischief, musical man. Dada, ready! Okay, now that we learned a little bit about Kandinsky, let's take a closer look at one of his artworks specifically. Let's start by talking about what we see in this picture. Go ahead and tell me, what are the different things that you see in this picture? Well, here are the things that I see. I see the color blue. I see the color green. I see the color red and orange. I see some different color greens here and a black color here and some black lines. I see some uh, shapes. There's like a rect rectangle shape here, some thick black lines. Okay. I see some color mixing. All right, let's talk about, uh, let's compare some things in this picture. Uh, what is the same about the different parts of this picture? Go ahead and tell me now. What is the same? Well, I see uh, there are different smudges of color throughout the picture, uh, but they are uh, colors. So the colors are not exactly the same, but they do have color in the different parts of the picture. Let's see, um, this line, there's a black line throughout this picture that is the same. And there are some shapes. So we can say that 
the different parts of this picture have shapes. So what is different about the parts of this picture? Go ahead and tell me now. Well, the different parts I see are the parts of this picture include colors, however, they are different colors. There are lines throughout the picture, but the size and thickness of the lines is different, right? Sometimes the lines are thick, sometimes the lines are thin. And some of the shapes are different. Despite there being shapes throughout the picture, the shapes and the size and shapes are different. For example, there's a small square here and there is a large square back here. Okay, this is my uh, favorite question that I like to ask. If this was the cover of a book that you were about to read and you were about to guess what the story is, use your imagination right now and tell me what do you think the story is about just by looking at the picture of this cover? Well, if I were to guess, I would say that this story is about a horse race, though this picture doesn't actually have any people, places, or things. It's just lines, shapes, and colors. I'm using my imagination, and I see horses, uh, kind of like when they talked about that in the video. So I think maybe it's about a horse race, like the Kentucky Derby, maybe. And there's an exciting finish because the two horses are about to cross the finish line, right? Okay, so if we're going to make an uh, artwork like this today, uh, what are some of the things that we're going to include, like Kandinsky and his artwork? Go ahead and tell me now. Well, we're definitely going to include uh, different sizes and shapes of lines. We're going to include different size and shapes of color and um, uh, maybe some different textures. Uh, like this one is very smooth looking. There's a little bit of rough texture in here. You can see some brush strokes. Uh, we might include some shadows maybe. Well, it definitely looks like there's some shading right here. You know, it goes from dark to light blue. We might include um, music with this project because a lot of his inspiration was for music. Like our inspiration for the project that we're going to make today is going to be inspired by music. And since he makes abstract expressive artwork, which means he doesn't make pictures of people, places, or things. He expresses the way he feels with lines, shapes, and colors. Uh, we are going to do similar things. We're going to express our feelings in our artwork today. So if you are not ready uh, and you don't have your supplies ready, you need to go ahead and do that now. You will need paper and you will need pencil and something to color with. It doesn't uh, matter uh, what kind of colors you want to use today, you pick whatever colors you have, crayons, color pencils, markers, paint if you got it, you get to use whatever you like. So if you don't have those supplies, go ahead and get those now and we will get started as soon as you are ready. Okay, so what we are going to do is we are in, uh, getting our inspiration from Kandinsky and we are going to make an abstract expressive artwork as a reaction to the music and sounds that we hear. So we're going to listen to different instruments. I want you to picture the way that sound looks in your head, use your imagination. And then it's almost gonna be like your hand is dancing on the paper as a reaction to the way you feel to hearing that music. And we're gonna start with a, uh, the sound of a drum, okay? So I want you to watch me first 
and then I want you to do uh, something similar, not the same, because you might you might feel different to the sound. Okay, so here we go. Okay, we're starting off with drums. You kind of close your eyes and picture that in your head, right? But what color does that drum sound like? Powerful, right? Short, short and powerful. Red. Okay. I'm, gonna, I'm thinking red. Now we're going to listen to a different sound. We're going to listen to a different sound, so you should have a different reaction. Picture it differently in your mind and react to that on your paper, to that feeling it gives you. We're going to listen to a flute now. Different sound, a lot lighter. Listen. Not as powerful, softer, longer. Okay, my hand is going to be moving on the paper more like this. Right? In my mind, I'm seeing smaller. my paper that's what I see in my mind okay go ahead and take a minute or so listen to the flute and react to that on your paper. Go ahead and do that now. Pick a color. And your color will be different because you react differently to that. How does it make you feel? 
you see shapes when you hear this. You see lines, colors you see. Connect. Put that on your paper. Take a moment to do that now. Now we're going to listen to a different instrument. Uh, we, we heard the short, powerful, loud drum, and we heard the soft, long flute, right? Now we're going to, I'm no music expert, but this sounds like a medium, one in the middle, a clarinet. It's a medium um, sound, I think. So listen to this and then react to it on your paper. What, go ahead and watch me do it first. Here's the sound. <laughs> we're going to switch to a very exciting instrument, in my opinion, the electric guitar. Uh, so we'll listen, think about the way you feel, try to picture it in your mind. What line, shape, or color does it look like to you? 
in your mind, that sound, and then we're gonna draw it on the paper. Here, I'll start and I'll show you first. It can be short like a drum, it can be long like a flute. Soft, it can be loud. Switching the black. Take a moment to listen to that and act it on your paper. Just the color, shape, line. It's like in your mind. Go ahead and do that now. I hope you had fun learning about Kandinsky and abstract expressive art. And I hope you had fun making an abstract expressive art as a reaction to the music that we were listening to. I know I had fun doing this. Uh, if you didn't get a chance to finish this, go ahead and finish it up over the next week. Make sure you bring it to class to show me so you get credit for it. Uh, if you really want to do go out of your way to do some extra uh, artwork this week, pick your favorite song listen to it, try and uh, listen for the different instruments and then draw those different instruments on your paper and see what it looks like. See what your song, your favorite song sounds look like to you on, in artwork form. That would be really cool. I really, really look forward to seeing your artwork and I look forward to seeing you guys during our next class. Have a great day. <laughs>